is up you guys welcome back to my youtube channel how have you guys been now it's been a minute since i posted because i didn't post thursday um i have been busy i remember i told you guys that i'm gonna be a little bit busy and i have just been so busy that i have not even gotten time to post thursday i actually forgot that it was thursday and that i needed to post and by the time I forgot what day it was and that I needed to post, it was like 10 p.m. So there is my excuse. Hope you guys forgive me, but I do post weekly. Um, so today I wanted to talk to you guys about changing your perspective about life. Um, I know that there's so much going on and there's so much things that we, we stress about, so much things about life that we stress about, bills, rent, car, shopping, all that. If we change our perspective and our mindset on how that energy is going to flow, the more that you think about negative things and negative outcomes, the more that will happen because you are manifesting that type of outcome into your life. But if you change your perspective on bad things, like recently, right? Not so long ago, my car got taken. Now I could have had a mental breakdown and really cried and, and, and let my emotions and let my you know emotional, emotional intelligence just get tested and allow all that to flow and just sit in a bad oh you know be depressed be sad i could have sat and dwelled over this thing happening but instead of it i saw a positive outlook and i was like you know what maybe this maybe this is a change maybe i just need to get another car you know, I'm to the next day I'm getting paid and, and it's going to be some good change. So like, I might as well just look for another car. Turns out I did find another car and it was so much better because I was under on those car payments. That car, I, I owed a lot on it, but it wasn't even, the car wasn't even worth that much. So there goes to say there's a positive outcome in every negative situation. Your tire goes flat. There's a nail in your tire. You could have missed a car crash. People get upset when traffic happens or like, you know, or when things in your life doesn't go as planned. You got to understand everything is happening for a reason, whether it stops your, your momentum or it escalates the momentum. You have to think about it like the universe is working in your favor. There's a reason why you couldn't go to the store today. There's a reason why your tire went flat, reason why you can't drive your car today. You are being protected and guided and think about it like that. You know what? Maybe I missed a car accident. Maybe, you know, I could have ended up in a bad situation, but the universe had my back and was like, I'm going to keep you home today. And if we change our perspective and our outlook on life and how we view life and how we view its stressful circumstances, and think about it as a positive situation, the less we indulge in our negative thinking and our negative thoughts, because the truth is your thoughts, your negative thinking is programmed from the beginning of time of you being born, because we're always taught to stress your parents. You see them stressing. You see everybody else around you stressing. So what does that teach you? It teaches you how to stress about everything and not how to see the better outcome and the better outlook on life. So that's what I want to talk to you guys about learning how to change your perspective and negative things that happen. I went through a breakup. Okay. A couple months ago, I could have, I could have dwelled in it and just sorrowed in it, drank, smoked, you know, been depressed for a couple of months. But instead of that, I saw the better picture, like this is supposed to happen for a reason. She wasn't meant to be in my life anymore. You know, every season, you know, some people are there for a season, some people are there for a lesson or a lifetime. And I guess this was just a season, you know? So I took it as that, I took it as a learning lesson. I, I was thankful for what I learned in the relationship and how I developed and what positive things that happened there was good things that happened so i'm going to take out the good things and know that it wasn't meant to be and that's okay but i walked away a better person i walked away with a lot of new knowledge that i now have that i can hold to myself now i know what i'm willing to deal with and what i'm not and i know my worth now because of that relationship as well learning your worth and learning how to love yourself really really makes you think differently so let's change that perspective. 
You can start by listening to positive affirmations. I always talk about positive affirmations because that's how, that's square one. That's how we start. That's how we reprogram the mind because it starts with your thoughts. Write down what those thoughts are. Journal. Journaling is good to know what you're thinking. And no matter what, listen, there's always going to be negative thoughts you're going to think about. But if you do not let those negative thoughts win and you don't indulge in those negative thoughts and you snap yourself out like, yo, wait a minute. Hey, you're doing it again. Let's let's change this narrative. You're doing it again. You know, understand that this is not real. This is not real. That negative thought is not real and it does not have power. The more you give your thoughts the power, the less power you have control of yourself. Remember, once you get control of your mind, you are a master at everything. A person who is not in control of their mind is not in control of nothing. But once you control those thoughts, you are unstoppable. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Stay brilliant, stay amazing, and I can't wait to talk to you in the next YouTube video. Peace.